Johnson and Johnson will lay off around uh, 200 or 300 employees in its New Jersey location. I know about this location in Jersey City because there was someone who had gone to the same type of program as me and she had ended up working there. And I know that Johnson and Johnson, they have a lot of different types of, you know, locations throughout New York City or Jersey City or various other research hubs in which people who work there, whether it be statisticians or experimental scientists or even data scientists, they aggregate there together because Johnson and Johnson offers many types of products that are still within either, you know, the context of being evaluated and under further scrutiny in clinical trials. And more than anything, I think it's pretty shocking because Johnson and Johnson is just such a wide held name and such a company with a strong reputation, a commercial reputation at that for all the products that they sell. And I feel like, unfortunately, it just goes to show kind of like what's happening with every type of company because any type of company is pretty much in the mood to try to look to enact cost cutting measures at this point. It's not like any company really cares if they can still keep someone or not. They would just rather look to get rid of the individual if it could help them, you know, reduce some redundancies in the workforce. And I think that the fact that Johnson and Johnson, you know, they have had some, you know, maybe legal troubles in the past or other aspects of how they run their company that maybe people have said could have been better or could have, you know, been able to been able to be improved upon. It's really interesting because that the mass or that the little layoff at the, the Jersey City location that's coming at this time because I really wonder whether it's going to be a harbinger of any other types of potential mass layoffs that Johnson and Johnson could enact. I know for one that them and like say Thermo Fisher Scientific and other types of companies in that related space, they've really been advertising a lot of positions very aggressively on their website. And it's like, why are they, you know, it's still very confusing as to me as to why are they still advertising for different types of positions that are very similar to the ones that they lay off? Like, I think that it would kind of really confuse anybody realistically, because it just really goes to show that if they still wanted to keep those positions that they're laying off at the Jersey City location, or any maybe other types of locations that they may be thinking to do a mass layoff in, then they probably wouldn't end up getting rid of those individuals and kicking them to the curb and laying them off just that, or rather than actually having to give them the opportunity to relocate like Amazon does. And I know that a lot of people are saying like Amazon, you know, they're doing their return to office mandate by the beginning, you know, of this year and a couple of months, the next year and a couple of months, because they want to, you know, really be able to monitor their employees more closely. And also this will undoubtedly draw some of people to lay off because or you know some people to leave on their own which is pretty much tantamount to layoff because they know that you know it's very difficult to move from like say a remote working situation to another amazon company or a company office uh, somewhere across the united states but johnson and johnson seems to really take a different type of approach but really nevertheless uh, the end result seems to be the same and yeah, I just feel like, you know, that Jersey City location, it was definitely a place where a lot of data scientists at Johnson & Johnson would work and people in related capacities. And it just seems like it's coming at like an unfortunate time, like many of the mass layoffs and other cost-cutting measures have been.